Without the flashing lights and crime scene tape, these D.C. police officers say this part of their job rarely gets attention. We try to do outreach so that the community can see us not just when the world is falling apart, you know. They're part of the special liaison branch from LGBTQ to the deaf and hard of hearing. They focus specifically on helping historically underserved communities in D.C. Whether it's handing out food to those in need or connecting people to city resources. When we can send an officer that can relate to the culture, speak their language and understand where they're coming from, it's going to make the community member feel that much more safe. They've been working to build better relationships this way for more than 20 years. Let's do this together because I can't do it without you and you can't do it without me. However, these officers say there's been a shift. Don't shoot! They're now the target of protesters and people questioning their motives, even on this day. When is y'all permit? Y'all still ain't answering none of that. Days like today, you know, very hot days that we go out there trying to motivate people to feel comfortable with us. And out of the blue, everything was everything was destroyed, you know, so we're, we're not giving up. I think right now is the best time to be a police officer because we're able to be that change. People say they want to be the change. We're able to go out every single day and be there for the community and show them that we're there for them. In the district, I'm Lorenzo Hall, WUSA 9.